Hi everybody. I realized after doing some of these videos that we talk about inflammation quite a bit, but rarely do we go into great depth as to what inflammation actually is and share with you the impact of just exactly what it can do within our bodies and what its role is in our bodies. So I wanted to go in a little more detail with that today. So I want you to first think about the question, what is inflammation and why does our body produce inflammation in the first place? Okay. So inflammation is a very natural process within our body. And if inflammation is so dangerous for us, why would our body produce it in the first place? Okay. So what is inflammation? What is the purpose of it? So I want you to first of all think, if you go and slam your foot into a door, what will happen? So your foot will start to swell up, and there will actually be an inflammatory response within your foot. So the body is producing inflammation, and it's immediate. It's an immediate response, in that case, to tell the rest of the body that there's a problem. So the inflammation's job is to get the body to go in there and do the reparative process, and it's more of a messenger system than anything. It is part of the immune system, however. So in many cases, if you have an overreactive immune response, for example, uh, with allergies, that will trigger an inflammatory response, that will start to tell the rest of the body that there's an issue, that there's a problem going on, then you will start to get too much inflammation in the body. Additionally, other things can produce excessive amounts of inflammation as well, be it lifestyle, habits. We often talk about the three T's, trauma, toxins, and thoughts. These things will produce inflammation in the body every time. So trauma can be something as severe as the example of slamming your foot in the door, or something as basic as sitting with poor posture, working on a computer all day, driving a car for long periods of time. Toxins, again, can have, again, severe impacts such as swimming in toxic waste, or something as basic as eating unhealthy food, eating processed you know, noodles every day for dinner. And then thoughts, those are going to be your mental stressors. So these are going to be your you know, stressful jobs, getting cut off in traffic, you know, working long hours that you, you know, just start to build up this emotional, mental trauma um, throughout your day-to-day -day life. So all of these will cause inflammation in the body. So once they start to become in excess and you start to have it be produced over and over and over at a far greater rate than it was ever intended to be, that's where you start to see problems. So like I said, Inflammation is an immune response. It is, in fact, your immune system working on the rest of your body. So that's where we start to see a lot of chronic disease happen, where our immune system will run rampant, it'll get into a certain part of our body that it's not supposed to be in an excessive amount, and then start to cause damage. It's only a matter of time before the immune system goes somewhere and is there for in excess for an excessive amount of time. It will start to attack and do damage in that spot. Let's take the thyroid gland, for example. If we start to get chronic inflammation throughout the body, and we start to get swelling and inflammation in our thyroid gland, then it will start to attack the thyroid gland, cause some damage, and then we, that's when we start to see something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It's an autoimmune disease of the thyroid gland, where the thyroid gland is actually being attacked by your own immune system. So thyroiditis, any disease that ends in ITIS, means there's inflammation there. It's inflammation of the thyroid gland. So if you have a major thyroid problem, especially if it's autoimmune, and you're having your thyroid gland being treated, you're not being treated properly because the issue is not with your thyroid gland. The issue is with your immune system. You need to find those inflammatory triggers, get them to decrease, and overall get that inflammation decreased throughout your body. And this doesn't just happen with the thyroid gland. This happens with the joints, with the muscles. Um, any Chronic inflammatory disease is going to be an issue with the immune system, not the actual area being affected. In fact, inflammation is often known as the root cause of all chronic disease. So once we find out the causes of the inflammation, we can get that taken care of, get that reduced, and then we'll start to see some results. And then we can start repairing the tissue that's been damaged throughout the body. So thank you for listening. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope you actually know what, uh, what inflammation is now. Thank you very much.